It's time for you to take on a new quest. Your quest to become the true owner of the Odyssey Arc begins now. Conquer every quest with Odyssey Arc to experience a new adventure. Odyssey Arc How To Video. Welcome. Stage 1. Discover Odyssey Arc. When you're unboxing the Odyssey Arc, find a quest companion to help you out. First, remove the foam cover. Then, after you've taken out the stand and the One Connect, reattach the foam cover. Be careful when you lay the main body down flat on the ground. You're doing great. Now, take a quick look to see if any parts are missing. Right, so let's get building. If you have a quick setup guy that came with the Odyssey Arc, then let's start by assembling the stand. Slide the stand into the groove. Then, turn it 90 degrees, like this. Keep the stand level and tighten the screws as shown. After you've done that, tighten screws to the bottom of the stand as shown, and you're done! After grabbing the top and the bottom, be careful when you're lifting it. Perfect! Now you've finished setting up your personal gaming theater, the Odyssey Arc. Now it's time to customize the Odyssey Arc to suit your gaming preferences. Hold on to the back to adjust the height of the screen. Once you've set it to the maximum height, let's rotate the screen by lifting one side. This is Odyssey Arc's immersive cockpit mode. Whether you want to view the Odyssey Arc in cockpit mode or landscape mode, by tilting it sideways or lengthways, you can customize it to give you the best angle. You can enjoy a variety of features in cockpit mode. We'll go over that in more detail later. But first, let's turn on the Odyssey Arc. Pass the OC cable through the hole on the stand and connect it to the Odyssey Arc. Don't forget the cable holder. Use the cable guides in cockpit mode to make sure the cable is completely secure. Now, plug the cable into the back of the One Connect. Oh, and don't forget that the Odyssey Arc also has four HDMI 2.1 ports. You're finally ready to turn on the Odyssey Arc. This is the Arc Dial, which is the true mark of an Odyssey Arc owner. Use it to control easily from your fingertips. The Arc Dial can be charged with a solar cell and also with USB-C charging. First, take off the power protective tape. Now, press the power button. Whoa, it's so nice to meet you, Odyssey Arc. Let's go through the basic settings one by one. They're super simple, I promise. Let's start by taking a closer look at the arc dial. These are the volume buttons. And this is the source button. You can press the source button to change the input source. The return button takes you back to the previous menu. Shall we check menu button? A menu will appear on your screen. It's been easy so far, right? You've got this. Well done, you've cleared stage one. Master Odyssey Arc in the next stage. Now it's your turn to become a master user of Odyssey Arc. Stage two is about completely mastering how to use the Odyssey Arc. Are you up for the challenge? Try selecting home on the menu. That's the Odyssey Arc's home screen, the gaming hub. Well, shall we play with Arc Dial? You can use it to switch between different input devices. It's a good idea to get to know the side tab, which you can access from the gaming hub. Let's take a quick look at ambient mode. Wow, amazing. And now, it's game time. Various menus in the game bar will help you achieve the best gaming settings. If you like having a wide screen, try going for an ultra-wide aspect ratio of 32 to 9. Or you can come up with an in-depth strategy with minimap zoom. 
Use the game bar to explore a world that you've never experienced before. Now that you've made it this far, I think it's time to call you an Odyssey Arc Master. You're doing great. You've cleared stage two. Learn the hidden features of Odyssey Arc in the next stage. The final stage. Now, let's try learning about the Odyssey Arc's hidden skills. In this final stage, Odyssey Arc's hidden skills will help you to be a dominant winner. Press the menu button and turn the wheel to the left and select Flex Move Screen. After pressing the button in the center of the dial, try rotating the arc dial. Check it out! Now you can see an enemy that was hidden before. Click one of the arrow keys on the arc dial this time. You can move the screen wherever you want. Is that it? Of course not! Go back to the menu and select Multi-View, which is on the right. This allows you to view multiple screens at the same time. That's pretty awesome, right? You can easily create your own screen layout to be used whenever you want. And you can access all of these features in cockpit mode too, of course. You select a screen, then you can change the order with the arc dial. You can play a game while watching a walkthrough video or complete a mission while chatting with crew members as well. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, let's take a closer look at the multi-view. Select the screen with the arc dial. Press and hold the enter button. You can change the channel of the selected screen with arc dial. Slow down. We're not done yet. Now it's time to see how to use the full screen mode in cockpit mode. What happens when you click on a screen and select full screen on the menu? Now, you can read web comics and watch fan cam videos in cockpit mode. How is it? It's a whole new experience, right? Now, with the Odyssey Arc by your side, you can unleash your full potential. Good luck! <laughs>